everybody, and welcome to another episode of... Andrew's Garage. Hey, today we've got another neat one for you. We're teaming up with the three blind mice to do the Vantastic Challenge. And we've got a lovely van for you. What do you think of it, son? It doesn't really look that cool, only because the decal is scratched and, you know, the color's gone. Ha! Huh, that's right. But we're going to make it look a whole lot better. We'll probably uh, give it a nice Spectra Flame and some uh, new wheels. So... Anyway, instead of talking about it now, let's get it up on the rotating car stand and uh, see what we're working with. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright folks, well here we are. The uh, California Cruising Chrome Supervan from Hot Wheels around uh, 1975. And uh, yeah, she looks pretty cool, uh, despite the fact that it's... Uh, a little worse for wear, uh, you know, it had a cool decal on the side. It sort of looked like a hot, like what a hot rod on one side and on the other side. Yeah, sort of the same hot rod burning out. But son, why don't you tell us some of the other things that are wrong with it? The chrome is lost from its wheels. Well, it's going away. The decals look like junk because they're fading a lot. And, you know, although it still looks like a car, but the thing doesn't look in that good, in that good condition. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> no, understood. It is look a little worse for wear, but I think that's up to us to uh, give it a great makeover. I think we'll throw some Spectra Flame paint on this once we sort of sand it out and even out all these casting uh, sort of imperfections. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll make this thing look pretty sweet in honor of uh, the uh, fantastic challenge. What do you say, son? Yeah, it sure sounds good. All right, we'll tell you what. Let's get to the restoring. Yeah, let's do it. There we go, folks. <laughs> this is the uh, our special van here, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's uh, yeah, it is quite worn, and it's got some uh, what do you call uh, you know imperfections in the casting and the like, uh, you know, especially around here by the windows. So we'll have to grind those out, and you can sort of see also on the bottom, it wasn't even given a name. So this uh, you know the uh, van was just uh, I guess van probably listed on the box but not on this so i've already taken the liberty of drilling and tapping it here and uh, yeah it had very small posts so i had to use the punch to center the drill very much uh, going to be using the small screws the red line shot self tapping but hey we'll take it apart and see what we have here and boom here we go <laughs> of course the uh, top here a little worse for wear. this is quite corroded worse for wear here this is something i've never seen before check it out it's just a uh, a one piece sort of window and uh, interior affair to just jam into this this sort of uh, <laughs> receptacle here. It sort of opens up a little bit as you can sort of see. Ooh, there we go. But yeah, that's all there is to it. It's like glass again. We've had another one of these, like the Porsche. But yeah, there's not much to it. That just kind of sits in this little hole like this, and that goes down. And uh, then because it's in the hole. And uh, the cover, just the van part just goes over top, and that's that. Oh, look, uh, I guess it's uh, going to have to be worked with a little to get back in, but yeah, we'll have to paint and sort it out, but as it stands, yeah, that's what we have. As you can sort of see, it's pretty dirty. We'll definitely have to clean it off and definitely swap out the tires because they're certainly play-worn. And, of course, this fella right here is going to have to go in the stripper to get rid of this uh, decal and whatever sort of silver paint they got on it for this chrome effect so that's what we'll get up to we'll slap it onto the uh forceps and dip it into our uh, stripper fluid oops and that we have right here and see how it works so stay tuned okay folks as you can see we have our uh, body inside the stripper and you can see it's starting to lose some of that silvery uh, color which is good we'll just let it stay a little longer the roof's doing good just a couple of side panels that uh, need to be done. So what we can do now is uh, focus our attention right here on the base. Which what we're doing. All right, folks. Well, we've done a little bit of work here. We've ground it up a little bit. And just taking some of the ugly off the uh, off the chassis, which was uh, pretty corroded and kind of dirty. And we buffed up the front and the pipes a little bit, and the, of course the base. And we also put in uh, an axle tube for the rear tires. And taking a drill, make those channels, just the channel and the clamps a little bigger. So all we got to do now is put this secondary axle tube right in here. 
So I've done a bit of grinding just so it'll fit through. And it sort of does right there. Oh, look at that. Fits clean through. A nice fit. There we go. And uh, that's in. And I'll just put a little dab of glue. A little dab will do you right here. There we are. And that should keep this thing moored for good. And yeah, so now uh, we can uh, probably see if we can take the uh, vehicle out of the uh, stripper and do some uh, work on that body as well. So stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, we've given it a little bit of a, uh, a buff with some uh, so the wire wheel and a little bit of sandpaper and some steel wool, and uh, it made it look a little better here. It's a lot smoother. The castings are nice. I got rid of the, uh, the burrs on the windows here, so they look a little smoother as well. So now we're just going to put some uh, mother's polish on and see if she shines up nice. We'll give that a shot. All right, folks, so here we are. We've got a nice shine on it now. Looks like it would be great for a bit of Spectre Flame paint or something similar. So, uh, yeah, I think that we're going to uh, get this ready for the paint shop. Just spray a little bit of the old degreaser on it. Make sure that this thing is clean and that the paint sticks, and then we're good to go. All right, everyone. Here we have this very strange looking cab and windshield combination. It's not even glass, it's kind of a soft plastic. Uh, hard for it to see here, but you can sort of see it's kind of a, uh, it's just kind of this cloudy looking see-through plastic uh, that uh, sort of they've incorporated with the windshield and the seats and everything, which is very strange, <laughs> very cheap. <laughs> All right, folks, well, here it is. We managed to get a nice set of red lines onto the base here, which I think looks sharp. And we also painted the headlights and the uh, turn signals and running lights. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's nice and shiny. So I think we're about ready to put this thing together and uh, get ready for that reveal. So uh, stay tuned. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, it's been quite a journey, but I think we've turned this uh, old workhorse into something fantastic. What do you think, son? Yeah, this one doesn't look good, but the one we made's a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, tell you what. Without further ado, let's, let's get, get ready, ready for, for the reveal. reveal. All right, folks, and here we are. The 1974 Hot Wheels Super Van, only done up in Dan Andrews Garage style. What do you think, son? The car looks really cool. I like the way you tried the fade for the first time. It's really epic. The decals, the red line rims, and it's so epic. <laughs> right on. Thanks there, son. Yeah, actually, we uh, tried to fade this time from gold to orange to pink on the bottom. We uh, we redlined it a little as well. We got those nice red line tires, and uh, we even painted the seats a little red. Sort of give it a look, even though it was a one-piece thing in that smoky glass. We tried to shine it up and give it a little... Uh, a little class. We also really filed the uh, casting, so it looked a lot smoother. And we think we uh, think we uh, succeeded in that. What do you say, son? Yeah, I think we sure did. Yeah. Well, I tell you, this is really cool, and we'd like to thank the uh, three blind mice for the fantastic challenge because this is our fantastic uh, <laughs> effort. And uh, we want to make sure you check out everyone else's videos on this because you're going to see some pretty cool cars and uh, and vans. I mean, for sure. So, uh, tell you what, uh, without further ado, we'll uh, play out with a couple of glamour shots. And uh, hey, if you like what you see on this, you know, please uh, like and subscribe and smash that like button. Right on, folks. And uh, remember to have a good one, and uh, we'll see you the next time around. See you later, everybody.